Today, I'm gonna to load a Leica M6. It's very simple. Unlike a lot of cameras, this part does come apart in two parts. So to begin, all you do is you come down here to the bottom, open this little tab and twist it just about, you turn it half a turn, turn it all the way around, just like so. And this bottom plate comes off and we can set that over there. Next, there's an optional step that you might wanna do. So you flip open the back door, slide that film on in just like so. And then as it goes in, now you can pull across all the way over here until it's into the teeth. At that point, you just wanna let it drop just like in there, and it should be pretty good. This camera is pretty smart in that it's as, when you put the film back in here, it is designed that it's supposed to kind of help lock that in and help it keep going. But it is also, you wanna make sure things are going down and that it's getting caught on the teeth. I've heard from some people that it's a really not the best idea to try to like push it down on this part, just because that's on the back of the shutter mechanism. And if you do that over time, you could maybe hurt your shutter. Personally, once this is in this state, I usually try to turn mine a little bit just to make sure it's on the take up spool and everything is being taken up as it's supposed to. Just like that, just a little bit. That's looking good. Now I close that back door, come back up here on the front and close it in there in that same half turn, just like so, and we are ready to go. Next up, make sure you do set your ISO here all on the back for this camera so that your meter is reading correctly. Just push it down and twist it. It's usually about one stroke of like wasted film and the next one you'll get kind of that fun first of the roll look or something like that. It'll be off there. When you get to the end of the roll, or if you just wanna rewind early, all you have to do is this little button here on the front. You can just see that right there. All you have to do is flip that down, boop, and that releases the tension on the winder. Then you come over here to this other side and you have this winder here and you twist that in the direction that the arrow is going right there in the corner. I found it usually easiest to hold the camera just like this. This particular winder likes to, it's it kind of hard and I feel like I'm winding, winding, winding and it jumps out of my hand. So holding it well is important because it sticks in your hand really nicely. We're gonna keep going just a little bit more. There you go, I can feel it release. That feels good. Now I'm just gonna go back in here, flip it around, open that up, boop, boop, boop. And we can pop that right out. Um, I didn't rewind mine all the way, but it's ready to go. And that would be ready to go off to the lab or get developed. One thing with practice is you can learn when you can get down the feel on the, the winder side so that you can feel it disengage and then you can pop it out and leaving that little bit of tail. This is super helpful if you are self-developing because I could just cut this straight and then load it straight onto a, rule, a reel you know, within a dark bag or something. But if I was gonna send this off to a lab, I would definitely rewind this all the way into there so it's also it's nice and protected. Enjoy this camera.